Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are gonna take a look at the weekend. We're gonna split this into two videos because you guys wanted to know like about the relationship that he had with Bella Hadid and then the relationship that he had with Selena Gomez. So we're gonna look at Selena Gomez first and then we'll look at Bella Hadid in the next video. Um, and then we'll see like, you know, kind of where he's gonna go with his love life going forwards. I don't know if Abel has, you know, Drake F boy syndrome or what, but <laughs> we will uh, see what Spirit has to say. So Spirit, please join us and answer any questions that we have in regards to the weekend, AKA Abel. And Selena Gomez, their past relationship, what should be noted, any questions that you have in regards to the past relationship between Jonathan and Selena Gomez. And for those of you who uh, are just getting into tarot reading or trying to do better about it, I suggest praying over your cards as much as you possibly can. I always pray over them again after I end the reading um, because I just feel like it connects you better to your cards and you get clearer answers. Plus, you're making sure that you're covered as well so that you're only inviting in good information and spirits. So... I just felt like Archangel Michael like literally right behind me and I just like got a chill and lost my breath. <laughs> I am so close with my saints, you guys. Um, the same way that a lot of people, you know, are with the Orishas that have their heads. That's me and my saints. So... The funny thing is, is that both of them now see each other as manipulative. King of Wands and Queen of Wands, right? So he sees that he feels like now that he's gotten as close to her as he was that she was a manipulative person and he you know it's vice versa that she feels like he's manipulative as well um you know the funny thing is is that he really saw like being with her as this sort of win it's like not just in terms of financial gain with this ace of coins but also as in i always wanted you and I finally got you but then getting her you know with this four of wands and this nine of swords obviously didn't work out the way that he had thought that things were going to go and I think it's funny that spirit like 
pulled and just like started telling me everything from his perspective. <laughs> Because they're just like, oh, this is him. This is him, you know. Um, and he feels like with this Page of Wands and this Knight of Cups that there was a lot of emotional manipulation. Feel sorry for me. Everybody's mean to me, you know. Like, oh. And it's almost like with this Knight of Coins and this Eight of Wands, he kind of got caught up in playing Captain Save-A-Ho. That's the way that he sees things now. Like, you know, I got sucked in and felt like I could be this knight in shining armor or Captain save a as we make fun of people, you know, for, and obviously, you know, he got blindsided in thinking that she was this queen of coins person. However, she was the queen of wands. I'm not this, you know, in charge bad bee that I present myself to be, I cry to get my way, I'm manipulative, I'm this, I'm that. And so he actually, with this judgment card and this fool card, saw himself as, I got caught in a situation I shouldn't have got myself caught into, and I've been played for a fool. And with this tower card, the magician and the seven of cups, it's like, there's lies that he caught her in that even though he was still emotionally connected to her at this point it was like he had no choice but for this to end because of the way that you know he started just finding things out so now I want to know what in the heck Woo! Was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be like, oh, he was a crybaby and she couldn't take it. Or, you know what I mean? Like, something else. Like, geez. All right. Spirit, please tell me anything more about the weekend's relationship with Selena Gomez from his perspective. Spirit, what were these lies that he caught her in? Thank you, Spirit. Wasn't Selena Gomez like friends with the Hadid sisters or some shit like that too? Because I remember people were like, oh, it's shady. And then like, I just never heard anything else about it. I don't know a whole lot about these people, to be honest with you. Like every time people are like able, I'm like, who's that? They're like, The Weeknd. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was literally, before I sat down to record this, I was literally chanting myself, Able is the weekend and weekend is the able, it, the weekend is able so that I wouldn't forget who was who and that they were not different people but the same person because whatever name I meet you by is the name that I will forever have stuck in my head for you. So it, there's a lot of my friends that grew up out of their nicknames that I still am like, oh, that's, a, no, what's their real name again? and try to catch myself um she actually wasn't very nice to him especially towards the end it's like he actually went into this with this sun card and this ten of cups thinking like, oh my God, you know, like, this is my future. Like, he actually thought that maybe this was the girl that he was going to build a family and a life with. But as things became revealed with this wheel, the world, and then her showing up as this queen of swords is talking about that there was a lot of just not even being kind and then, of course, she also shows up as this queen of wands as well, you know. So it's like, like spirits saying it was a lot of, oh, like if I'm mean to you and then you call me out on it, I'm going to cry and gaslight you and tell you that it was your fault, you know, and it's because you did this or that. And so, 
you know, the relationship just devolved into constant fighting um, and catching, you know, her in different lies. There was still communication with an ex as well. So, it, didn't she get back together with Justin Bieber for a while after her and The Weeknd broke up? Because with this Three of Coins and this Hermit card, Spirit's saying that this is about a third party being involved, but it's not so much like anything that was super, you know, like they weren't having sex yet and they weren't like, you know, telling each other, oh my God, I love you, but they hadn't cut the cord either. And he was finding out about this stuff. High Priestess. She tried to tell him that it was about work. <laughs> and it's like, okay, sure, you have to work with your ex like why there's a million other people you can make a song with we can make a song together so spirit what else for these lies that selena was telling the weekend it's gonna be interesting to see what her perspective of this is because i have a feeling they're both gonna say completely different things about each other <laughs> spirit, what were these lies that the weekend was catching selena Talking to other guys. There's actually... Two other men that he constantly was, like, suspicious about her communicating with. This King of Swords and this Emperor. Um one of them is that person from the past i feel like the king of swords is probably justin bieber um this emperor is somebody who is older than her that she sort of keeps them around if that makes sense like i there's you know flirting and the idea of oh someday we might be together so she kind of keeps this guy like hanging on, you know, dangling the carrot around, you know, or whatever the saying is. Um, and so it's like the weekend was just like, okay, like you might not be sleeping with this guy and you're not be telling him you're going to be with him, but there's still not, you know, transparency and honesty with this the way that I would want to see. You know, like it still feels like that gray area of you shouldn't be doing that if me and you were together um so i mean it's just there's a lot of like immaturity in these cards too a lot of page pages page of swords page of pentacles page of cups page of wands so it's just like it was almost like people playing house rather than actually being as serious as they should have been considering you know the way that they both got into the relationship because spirit saying that there was actually like communication about both of them being ready to be serious you know in a relationship like get married and have babies and that kind of stuff and then it's like when it comes down to it are you guys acting the way that people who say that they're gonna get married and have babies would act or are you acting more like people who you know are just dating for fun and that was kind of almost like how it was going so let's see all right i keep looking out the window because that's why i forgot why i don't record videos at this time of the morning because the 
gardeners come out and I'm like, oh my God, are they coming that close that they're gonna be right under my window and I'm gonna have to stop recording? <laughs> Plus it looks like it's about to rain too. So Spirit, how does Selena Gomez feel about the way the relationship between her and Stable, AKA The Weeknd's went? I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce his real last name because I know I will butcher that. And if you guys want to book your own personal private reading, all the information is in the description box below. And you can use coupon code BARBIE, all in caps, to get 25% off your reading. And that code is good until the end of the month. All right. She thought that she was going to marry him, too. Underlying energy, two of cups, queen of cups, four of coins. She thought that this was going to be the person that she was going to marry until things started coming to light. She felt like he had a tendency to be overly focused on always trying to work, always being really like trying to focus on his money, his career, his art. And that because of that, he could be very kind of manipulative towards her. And she didn't trust him and she didn't feel like he was always telling her the truth about things. And so it, it got to a point where she started feeling like he wasn't being, because it's like, I'm showing up as the Queen of Cups to you, but you're only giving me the Knight of Cups in return. So she felt like she wasn't getting from him what she needed in this relationship. And that drove her with the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and this King of Swords back to somebody from her past. Because she had to walk away from him. But... See, here he is with this King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Lovers card. She got him cheating on her. So she might have been talking to people from her past, but he was boning people from his past. And she felt like this person did it on purpose, the person that he cheated with, to cause unhappiness and to break up what she, what Selena thought she was building with Abel. See, I told you guys that I knew that this was going to be two totally different perspectives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All righty. So, Spirit, who ended this relationship? Spirit, who ended this relationship? cheated yeah she did it's so crazy they were about to try for a baby too but she needed to fix her health issues so it was but it was like as soon as we get this situated let's try to have a baby but they ended up breaking up Well, 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 label. It's always funny. Different perspectives people have of things, right? 
So anyways, guys, that is all we have for Selena in the weekend. I will be doing a reading on his relationship with Bella and what happens in a bit. I have a personal reading to do in about 20 minutes, so I don't know if I'll have time to record it until after then, plus these gardeners. So anyways, guys, I love you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And I will see you again soon. Bye.